Well, guys, I'm uh, here at home. I'm gonna get into the garage. And I'm gonna get some degreaser. And I'm gonna degrease this engine because so I can hopefully see the damage. I had to, some nice people uh, saw me back there on the side of the road and they stopped by to help me. They even like, they lived down the street and they, uh, from where I was broke down and they offered to grab their uh, flatbed and uh, pull me out, you know, and get me home, which is, I thought, really, really nice. Uh, the whole thing is that I had bought this engine, like I said, uh, oh, hang on, I was checking my, uh, okay, uh, messages, but, uh, I bought this engine to replace that one that's in there because I was aware of the ticking, and I'm thinking that I probably should have done what I thought, and I thought about hooking that trailer up and taking it with this Jeep or one, you know, the white Jeep. And then picking it up because, you know, I, I don't know. I made a call and it probably the wrong call. This block is probably toast. The crank is toast. Um, it blew oil all over the place. It was smoking really bad on the exhaust. I can't see up in there if uh, the block is cracked. He's He got up under here and looked at it and said that maybe one of the uh, something's cracked or it looks like the one of the freeze plugs or something was blown out uh, so I don't know but it's ticking really bad it it seized up wouldn't uh, roll over so I put a socket like I said on the uh, crankshaft and kind of turned it and something inside dropped you know fell so yeah I'm thinking this block is toast so I need to get me now I'm gonna have to get another engine. So, because I what the whole idea was is pull this motor, install this one, uh, run it around while I'm rebuilding the other one. Uh, you know, re, re swapping it and then uh, doing it all over again with the the white Jeep. So. But if that block is cracked, like I said, I'm going to have to redo it. So I'm going to get my little handy degreaser only sprayer. Ah, uh. jeez. Oh, ah, oh, jeez. Jeez. It's not coming off. Dang it. Damn. Ugh. I I'm going to break the handle off. Damn. Well, that's not working. So the handle's going to break. That's the only bad thing about these. Maybe next time I'll have to start not leaving the handle on tight, but I'm going to degrease it and I'll uh, bring you guys back on and show you, you know, in another quick video of what happened. So, yeah, it sounded like it was lifters or something uh, when I would be uh, revving it up, you know, on the road. Uh, trying to get uh, you know get it to shift into fourth gear or whatever and it would tick and uh, it all happened right after I got that uh, camper over there and was coming back with it so had plenty of oil the whole time just uh, yeah I don't know what the heck man like so I'm gonna fix her up you know Put that other engine and get her back on the road. It's gonna take me a while though, cause got other stuff going on. Shouldn't take too long. These things are pretty pretty simple, I think, to pull out. I'll pull the front clip, you know, probably. 
Uh, well, more than likely because it's easier that way. Uh, I think I might be able to leave the wind. Well, I'll, I'll take the winch off because it's it's in the way, and I might work on the bumper a little bit, get that hole back there, drill that more, so I have more clearance for this, and maybe I don't know. We'll see. Get it going a little bit better. Get it routed a little different. So, all right. It's funny though that uh, the people that brought me the girl park down there by the fence right there and uh actually kind of bumped it but they came flying out to their house when she walked back and they're like is this yours you know you need to move it and not in front of my house like you know really jerky people i hate that and so far this neighborhood has been pretty good i mean the neighbor over on the side over there uh kind of complains he doesn't talk to me in a while I don't know why i mean he usually would come over and say you know a few things to me but uh i don't remember what like i i think it what happened is uh i was walking out and like i was not feeling good had a headache was really tired been working my dogs were barking jumping at the fence you know and so i went out there to see what they were doing and he was like and i was already mad and he was like oh you know you he was like god you need to like uh, control your dogs or whatever he said but like by that time I was already like taking a deep breath to yell at my dogs and I was like what the heck are you doing uh, if you don't get over here I'm gonna beat that ass like just you know telling my dogs what's up and I think he thought I was talking to him because he like retreated into his house like real quick and I'm not uh I think I kind of surprised myself with how loud I, uh, I yelled because I'm very soft-spoken. Soft I don't like yelling. Uh, I don't like uh, getting in conflict, so I try to do everything peacefully without uh, like giving in and being, you know, chicken or whatever. Uh, but uh, so yeah, I'm hoping. I mean, if you guys, you know, I don't pray to the Jeep gods that uh you know that my engine is still good and that maybe that hopefully you know that or that i can salvage a lot of it and that i can get a block for cheap to like i said because i wanted to rebuild uh the one that was in there i wanted to build a kind of like a just a small stroker like a 4.2 uh out of it and uh do some mods to it and you know get a little more power out of it make it a little more streetable and more you know, like a little bit better to tow the haul this thing around you know this camper and then i was gonna put it back in this one and then i was gonna take that engine and check all the numbers and then you know switch it into the white jeep and then kind of do the same thing build another engine you know, a little more power and everything. And then these two would have the inline sixes, maybe do it to that one. But then I'd have, you know, an extra engine laying around just in case. And then eventually I was gonna put a V8 in this one, is what I was thinking, but we'll see. I like the 4.0 and the way it runs now. So just, uh, I don't know, yeah, like I said, uh, keep this, you know, the Comanche in your thoughts prayers whatever you know that uh i can do this so all right y'all take care now we'll keep you updated on what's going on with it so all right